A premier online dating expert has five things that she advises you to do. And I bet there are some not do's in there too, Elizabeth Brand. The biggest stigma of online dating um, is clearly people still think it's for desperate people or people just looking to hook up for casual sex. And that can't be the furthest from the truth right now. Julie Spira should know she's been a digital matchmaker for two decades. She shares five things that make a successful online dating profile. First, only use authentic photos of yourself. Do not put filtered photos in your profile. Yes, I might see them on Instagram, but at the end of the day, you need to look exactly the way you look when you meet in person. These are the photos that I say do not belong in your profile. One, anyone wearing sunglasses. Two, no selfies. Selfies are just self-absorbed and they're not the best photo of you, believe me. <laughs> and three, the party shots. We don't want to see your entire posse of friends because it's confusing when you're swiping on an app. Instead, pick photos that show your personality. Mix it up. Have a full body shot, an activity shot. I love hiking shots, golf photos. And if you have a puppy or a dog, I always suggest putting it in because over 50% of profiles get right swipes if someone has a picture of a puppy in their photo. Spira says, avoid cliches like, I love music. Instead, be specific so it becomes a conversation starter. If you went to a concert like the Rolling Stones No Filter Tour, then mention it in your profile. I'm a huge Stones fan. Once you match with someone, Spira says, message them within three days. I would suggest going on a virtual or a video date and make it no more than 20 minutes because if you tell everything on that date, there's nothing left for the date. Finally, Spira's most important advice to online daters, be honest if you want a casual or serious relationship. If you're looking for marriage and someone else's, you're going to be scaring away the ones that would be wasting your time. Right, she did have one more tip. She said a lot of people make their dating preferences too near, narrow. Like they say, only three to five years between their age bracket. If you're on the dating site, you're obviously willing to try something new, so cast a wider net someone may surprise you. Thanks for your patience, Robin, and good luck to our daters. Thank you for the information. Got it. Appreciate it. Thanks, Liz.